Katie, I love you more than anything, and I promise to spend the rest of my life loving you. You've been my rock through the most difficult times of my life. I promise to always be your cheerleader, as I'm so proud of the person you have become. I promise to be there at the best of times and the worst, just as you have done the same for me already. So I promise to always see you, even when life keeps us busy and apart. You are my everything. I have to say, Katie, I did not ever believe that I would see you looking so beautiful. Um, and it was just absolutely incredible. When I saw you this morning for the first time, I just lost it, as you know. Um, it's now on record. Um, last year, I said there was no better feeling for a father than to be able to give his daughter away, if that's the right way of putting it. Um, but hey, I get to do it again, so fortunate. Before I wax lyrical and try and embarrass Katie just a little bit, I can't let Emma M get away with it scot-free. When you walked into our lives six years ago, we knew almost immediately that you'd taken our baby's heart and made her feel really, truly happy for the first time in her life. Seriously, you are such an amazing, wonderful young woman with an incredible inner strength, so thoughtful and kind. Guy and Sarah, Emily is a true credit to your family. You must be so, so proud of the young woman that she has become. I give you this ring. Wear it with love and joy. Wear it with love and joy. As this ring has no end. As this ring has no end. My love is also forever. My love is also forever. With this ring, I marry you. Wear this ring forever with love and joy. Wear this ring forever with love and joy. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. And I seal your marriage with a kiss. <laughs> And Smith, you came into my life so unexpectedly and so out of the blue, but you completely turned me on my head. From the moment you appeared, I was done. That was it. I knew it was over for me. Our first day, sitting and talking, talking the whole day whilst friends was playing and quietly in the background, it was telling of what we had to come, someone I could call home. There's never been a doubt in my mind that you are the one and I want to spend the rest of my life with you. There's no place I'd rather be. It's no secret that I was a little bit lost until I found you. I was, expecting, I was expecting to live my life with a few dozen dogs on my own, but you made that little grumpy 20-year-old girl into the happiest woman in the world. I think most people here would agree, every room you walk into, it instantly just feels warm. Your kindness is so infectious, it carries me on my dullest of days. Watching you flourish into your amazing career as a teacher has been absolute pleasure. The determination and passion you give day to day is absolutely inspiring. You're the strongest woman I know, and I love every single part of you. From now until forever, I'll always be right by your side. I would absolutely love to raise a toast to my wife, Mrs. Davidson Smith. And finally, Katie, <laughs> I can't believe we finally made it. 
Over six years ago, you appeared into my life and you've become my best friend, my partner in crime, and my absolute soulmate. Thank you for breaking down my barriers and bringing out my inner child, which I'm sure some days you really do regret. <laughs> um, when I play fighting with you or tickle you too hard and you get back at me and I kick you because I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> Whatever the rest of our life throws our way, I know we'll be able to get through it together. You are the best person I know, the best dog and cat mum, and a ray of sunshine in my life. Please can you raise a glass to family? To family. Oh,